Luka Doncic was just announced as the cover athlete for NBA 2K22, so we're gonna go back to all the 2Ks he's been in and score with him. Now despite only being in the NBA for 3 years, Luka actually made his NBA 2K debut in NBA 2K17. Now the reason Luka is in NBA 2K17 is because 2K actually decided to include EuroLeague teams into the game this year. Uh, they did this a few other years as well and it just so happened that this year Luka Doncic was playing for Real Madrid and if we come all the way down to the bottom of their roster we see Luka Doncic coming in at a 59 overall now the picture looks absolutely nothing like him I think he might have the worst player out of anybody in the EuroLeague I mean they did not spend much time making these players accurate they didn't face scan these guys into the game so they all look pretty awful uh but here's luca in 2k17 for some reason it says he is 22 years old even though that is his age right now in fact at this point in time he was 17 years old which is just crazy um his stats suck all of his stats are so so low his three-point open is a 60 overall and kind of my plan with Luka to score in all these games is I wanted to hit like a step back three. But let's hop into a game though. We got Madrid. We're going to be facing off against the Cavs. Let's make this a little difficult at least. I'm going to actually have to make sure Luka starts. He actually shows up on the roster. Yes, he does as the 10th man. I was kind of worried because uh, sometimes the, the players at the bottom of the roster, 2K doesn't even include them on the team. He was a point guard listed as a point guard here. So we'll put him in at point guard. And one thing I wanted to check out earlier that I forgot to do was check out Luca's height and weight. So in this game, he's six foot five, 218 pounds. And now he's six foot seven, 230 pounds. But let's see if we can score with 17 year old Luca on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Madrid does have the home court advantage here, which is perfect. He is a 59 overall. His dribble moves are not that bad at all let's come inside that's a tough layup it doesn't matter already in 2k17 luca beast already score i gotta hit a step back three with luca in all these games though let's see how this is gonna work oh my gosh that is so far if we hit that that would have been crazy oh it's gonna be tough in this game he's just as like a 63 that's all right we're actually dummying calves right now Oh, that is nasty. Come on, hit that. I honestly don't know if we can get one of those in. That's such a deep three, too. But, I mean, we can't score with Luka without hitting the step back three in any, in any of these games. Oh, that's a nasty block. There's a step back. Come on. Yes, we hit it. We hit it with Luka. Let's go. That honestly only took three attempts. A lot shorter than I thought it was going to take. But uh, there's 2K17. Despite only being a 59, he's still a beast. So in NBA 2K18, 2K actually didn't have the Euro League in the game, probably because they didn't want to pay for the rights again. So there is no Luka in 2K18, but he is in 2K19, where he made his NBA debut for the Dallas Mavericks. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the day one rosters right now because uh, the servers are down, so we can't download those at all. So we have Luca's final rating in 2K19, which is an 87. He actually started as a 79 at the beginning of the year. So an eight rating boost in just his rookie season, which is insane. Of course, he did end up winning rookie of the year. And our, our stats are a lot better for Luca this year uh, than in our first year. So hopefully it's a little easier to hit the step back three than it was in 2K17. But I guess we'll find out. Oh, 2K19, let's win a tip off here. That's easy, and Luka is a small forward in this game. That's going to confuse me a bit. Let's get it to him. So we got Kevin Durant on us. We're facing off against the Warriors. You know, make a, a, a challenge, this a little challenging yet again. Let's have that screen. Okay, that was not a step back. Ah, come on, Dirk. Illegal screen. We hit the three as well. That sucks. There we go. We we're wide open and we drained that on our first attempt. Well, we had two attempts. It's just the first one was an illegal screen. Um, so much easier in 2K19 than 2K17. 
obviously as an 87 overall that's that's just the way it's gonna be let's see if we can hit two in a row yeah we can like luca's a beast already in his rookie season he's so good in this game so nba 2k20 is next and in 2k20 lucas started off as an 87 overall finished the year as a 96 another huge rip. Got the hawks this year we got trey young on us so this should be uh pretty easy to score uh, does that count as a step back that's not even a three is it that oh, it's just a two-pointer oh let's go big block on trey young let's give it back to luca Step back there, and that's a perfect release. He's just unstoppable. The only thing he's really lacking is 2K is he doesn't have the speed and um, the athleticism, I guess. I, you know, if he had that in 2K, he would literally be unstoppable. I mean, he's already unstoppable right now. But uh, there's 2K20, and we are already on to our last game. Of course, this video is going to be a little shorter. It's a Luka. He's only been in four 2k so far and in 2k21 luca coming in at a 94 overall so a little drop in terms of rating same with uh, the top players i think he was like tied for the second best player or the best player in 2k20 for 2k21 i thought we'd do a little playoff rematch right here against the clippers why did porzingis not jump i hate the tip off in in 2k21 they change the tip off every year and it confuses me when I go through all these games. Every year, the tip-off is so much different. And I think 2K21 has the worst tip-off so far. There's no way he's hitting that. I'll just give it to Luka. We got the man on him that is too small to guard him. Oh, or not. We got Kawhi Leonard. I was hoping Patrick Beverly would be on us. That would be a lot easier to score on. But, um, I mean, we'll, we'll do a right over Kawhi's face. That wasn't really a step back. Not what I wanted to do, but we still scored anyways. Okay, that's that was bad. How does that go in? Okay, I was I was on rookie difficulty. That's uh that's how that one went in so easily. I was wondering with my awful releases how these shots were going in. Uh, I had this thing on rookie difficulty. So let's see what it's like on an actual real difficulty, kind of I guess. I mean this is still only all-star. Still a bad release, and it still goes in. If we're contested, I mean, Lucas just too good, man. I'm shooting so bad. All right, let's go ahead. Let's end this video good. Let's go and hit a half-court shot. Come on. One eternity later. All right, come on. I got to hit it here. I got to hit it. There it is. Let's go. The half-court shot with Luca to end the video. That was definitely the first attempt to do it. But that is going to be the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy it, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Pretty much we learned today that Luka has always been a beast inside of NBA 2K. Even when he was a 59 overall, it was still unstoppable. Anyways, guys, this has been your boy Smeekle, and I will see you next time. Peace. Never at ease, I don't know a limit. Chasing the dream, I don't know what sleepers. I got a queen, she lit me to eat it. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me to snip it. Do whatever do for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a murder, she wrote it. Still up with courage, you're doing a service. Pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the brush strokes. Cut throat from the low, low, when no love goes.